Oh, hello. Welcome into my workshop and welcome to the show Creations of Clay. My name is Louis Palladini and tonight I'd like to do an, an animal that everyone's extremely familiar with. I want to show you how to do a cobra from start to finish. It's a very interesting animal and uh, I think it'd be, it's very easy to do. I'll show you the types of clay that we can use. There's an oil-based clay such as this which can be bought in any art store and you can use it over and over again as I mentioned in the past I used to use this all the time when I was a kid get bored with the different clay animals I made I just make new ones another type of clay that can be bought in any art store is air hardening clay which can harden in like in a couple of hours or overnight and you can uh, once you let it harden then you can paint it so it's permanent which is great about that my preference for the clay is a clay called Super Sculpey which can be baked in the oven at about 275 degrees for about 15 or 20 minutes. You can drill it, sand it, you can make a tremendous amount of detail, which is great about this clay. The size ball of clay we'll be using tonight, what I did is I just have one ball of clay, and I'm going to show you, and what we're going to use is the additive technique tonight. So the other things like the eyes and the tongue, you know, we're going to add those on, and I'll show you how to do that. The first thing that I want to do, we'll make it very simple, but there's one other thing I want to mention. I do have this piece of wire, aluminum wire, which is very flexible, and this is going to enable the cobra, his head, to stand up. You know, I'll show you with the cobra right here. See how the cobra, his neck, and the, I'm going to put the wire in there so that will stay up when it's being fired in the oven. I'll show you what we'll do next, which we're going to take this and we're going to roll it on the table like this. This is going to be the easiest way to, to uh, make this. Very simple technique. Everybody's familiar with this. And I'll just want to get this started. <clears throat> we can use both hands. That way we can get it done a little quicker. You just get that and roll it out. Just like that. Now, and then I'm just going to kind of try to work it with my fingers a little bit like this. See how I'm squeezing that? That way we can lengthen it out a little bit. And then we'll roll it a little more. Just like that. And now, it's approximately the right size. See that? That length? That's a pretty decent length. So the next step that we want to do is we want to work on making the head. So I'm going to take this, and I'll show you the shape that we want. See, I'm going to take this and squeeze this in my fingers like this. And I'll show you exactly just like that. See, that's going to be the top of the head. That'll be the front. And that'll be the side. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to flatten out the neck. So, so I'm going to take this. See, that's how I'm pinching it? You want to pinch the clay like this. See how I'm pinching that? You take and squeeze it between your finger and your thumb. And you just work, and then you do the same thing on the other side. Just like that. We're gonna take and work that. And then I want to do the same thing for the other side. I want to make sure they're approximately equal. See that how I'm, I'm doing that? Should we get that? And then the next thing that I want to do is we do have our piece of wire now. I want to work that in to the snake. So I'm going to take this and make it straight. It's very flexible. And what I want to do is take this now and place it 
inside the snake like this. See that? And we'll place that, you kind of like just push it in. Pushing that in, see how I'm pushing that into the clay. Push that. And then what we're going to do is I want to cover that up. We'll do that, this part right here first. And then we're going to push this into the, the snake right here. And then what I will we'll do is we'll actually add some clay here using the additive technique. I have some clay over here to the side. And we're going to take some of this clay off little in little pieces. See like this. And what I want to do is I want to use the additive technique and I am going to cover over the wire like that. See that? Just like that. And we'll proceed to take another piece off. Just a small piece of clay. And then see this here? I'm going to put that over like that. And just take and you cover it up. Like that. And we're going to proceed to add a little more clay. See, I'm doing that additive technique. I'm going to build that out a little bit. Just like that. And then Okay, so we we're almost there. I just want to take and make sure that I add a little clay here also on the bottom. You know, just to make sure that that's, that's covered over. And what I'm trying to do is I'll show you on this model here. See where I had painted this, the light tan? We're trying to build that area up on the snake right now using the additive technique. And I'll show you how we'll continue to proceed to do that. I'm going to take a little more clay. So, and then we, then what we can do is you just kind of work that with your fingers like that. See how I'm doing that? I'll move that more like that. See, I'm just kind of working that and pushing it to the sides. Just work it like that. Just like that. And then what we're going to do is now that we can take this very flexible, I'm going to take and move the snake like that. Take the, go like that. And what we're going to do, I'm going to put this down, put that on the ground. And we can take and kind of push that down so it, it kind of flattens out on the bottom. And what I'd also like to do is I want to add some clay in the back. So using the additive technique again, I want to take some clay here. See, I'm adding this. And we're going to put that in the center like that. And what I'll do is I'll move this so you can see it. And just kind of place that right there. And I'm going to proceed to do the same thing right here. Add a little more clay. And we'll continue to add. I'm just going to build it up a little bit at a time. See how I'm doing that? Just like that. 
And I'll put a little more here. So what I'm going to do is I'll just kind of use my thumbs on both sides and we'll just kind of work that so it's see I'm, see I'm taking I'll try to show you more like see I, you want to take the fingers and kind of spread it apart like that see how we're doing that Just like that. And that. So now, we'll look at the front again. What I want to do is smooth that out a little more. See how we're doing that? You want to kind of work that in on both sides so you can't see the um, any lines or anything. Just keep working it like that. And then what we're going to do is I'll show you. We're going to make, we're going to start making the head or adding to the head. We're going to take, and I want to make almost like little eyebrows here. See the light tan here? We're going to take two pieces of clay like that, and we're going to add the, um, the eyebrow. What I want to do is I'll, I'll make the eyebrow, I'll show you the size that we want. A little piece of clay like this. So what we can do is take and roll it in the shape that we want is this shape right here. See that? It almost reminds me of like a little boomerang. We're going to make two pieces like that. So I'll proceed to make the second one. And see I'm doing that? I'm just pinching it between my fingers to make that shape. So you know you pinch it from both sides. And I want to see if it's approximately the same size. It's a little bigger, so I'll take away a little bit of the clay. Just like that. Now I'll, I'll test them again to see if they're approximately the same size. It looks like it's still a little bigger. So I want to take away a little more clay here. And we will continue. Let's see. Now they're approximately the same size. See that? What, you know what? I'll put them on my, the palm of my hand so you can see. It might be easier to view it that way, as long as they want to stay in place. <laughs> OK. See, they're approximately the same size. And before we put those on there, I also want to make a couple of the eyes. So we're going to take some clay here. And I'm going to take and make a little round ball. And I want to make sure, and just kind of, see I'm like moving it back and forth between my fingers? You want the eye to be approximately that size. Oops. See that there? It is very tiny. And then we'll proceed to make another one like that. I'm going to roll this between my fingers. And I'll see if they're about the same size. What I think I'll do is just add a little more clay to this one to make them approximately the right size. And what we're going to do is, I'll, see I'm placing that in my hand? That's the size that you want right there for those two eyes. So what we're going to proceed to do is we're going to place these on the side of the head. So what I'm going to do is take this now Take the snake and just kind of place that right there on the side of the head. See how we just did that? And we'll proceed to do the same thing on the other side. Like that. 
just like that. The next step that we're going to take is we're going to take this eyelid and put it over the eye. I'm going to take this, just put it like that. And what I want to do is you take and you, you work it in. See, I'm just kind of working that in to the head now. Just take and just kind of play with that, get it the way we want, work it in a little bit. And then we're going to proceed to do that on the other side. So I'm going to take this. You see how we placed it over the eye. And now we can take and proceed to work that. Then I'm going to go from the other side and make sure that that's attached. See, I'm taking my, my finger and just working that in. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to make the mouth. And I'll show you. We're gonna, we have a toothpick here which can be bought in the supermarket or, you know, a drugstore. And this has got the two pointed ends. So what I like about this is now I'm going to take this and I'm going to place that in the center of the mouth here. So I'm going to take that. Oops. And I'll show you. I'm going to take this. See that how I'm doing that? I'll try to show you from the other side that way. You can see it just like that. And now what I want to do is just kind of open it up a little bit and make sure that see how I'm opening up the mouth a little bit. I think that's important. Just have it a little bit open. And and then, then I just kind of work that a little more. See how that's starting to look now? It's really starting to take shape right now. So what I want to do now is I want to make the nose. So what I'm going to do, now that we've made the jaws, I'm going to take this and we're going to take the toothpick and just kind of make holes for the nose like this. And then we're going to proceed to do the same thing on the other side. Just kind of work it like that. And the next step that we want to take is we want to make the tongue. So I'm going to take a little piece of clay like this, about this size, and we're going to take, and we're just going to roll this. See, just roll it like that. See, I'm rolling that. And then, see, I'm going to break this tongue apart like this. I'm going to make this part of the tongue like this. And then we're going to take and make the other part of the tongue. So it's almost look like a, a little fork of sorts. Just like that. And now what we want to do is I want to take a little bit off there, but I want to place that into the mouth. So we take and we place that in there. And that's, see how cool that looks? So, the next thing that we want to do is I want to make some lines across here. So we'll take this, this toothpick, and we're just going to go like this. See how I'm doing that? Try to make it approximately in the center where we have built that up. Just take that and just like that. See how we made those nice lines? 
And then we'll also do that up above here on the top of the cobra's head. We'll make some lines right there. And that's the cobra. I just want to make sure we can, you, you, can, you can move the tail around. See, I'm kind of moving that around. And that's what your cobra should look like before it's ready to be fired in the oven. And now that we've fired the cobra in the oven, it is now ready to paint. And I'll show you what types of paints that we're going to use tonight. We're going to use these acrylic paints. There's about 18 in this package, which can be bought in any art store. And we're going to be using uh, several colors, and I'll show you which colors we'll be using. We're going to be using... pink for the tongue, then we're going to be using tan for the, around the eyes and the, the, the belly, we're going to be using brown, and then we're going to be using black. So we're going to be using these four colors, and now I'll proceed to put these aside. We'll be using some brushes. We'll be using this uh, nice wide brush here. That'll be used for the body. We're going to be using this brush here for the eyes. We're going to be using uh, this size brush here to do some of the, the painting on the body, like around the eyes and the belly. And I'll just get an extra brush just in case we need that. Uh, so we're going to have and we'll use that roughly that size. The first thing that I want to do is I want to paint the eyes. So now we're going to paint the eyes right here. See this here? Just like that. Just go around. And then we're going to paint the other side. I'll show you. We'll turn him around. And we're going to do this side. Just like that. So it looks pretty good. The next thing that I would like to do is I want to paint the pink tongue. So what we're going to do is just take, see the, the tongue right here? I'll show you. We're going to paint that like that. And then we can flip it over. We'll do the other side. Just like that. We want to get all sides. And we'll get that there. So it comes out pretty good. So the area that we want to paint right now, see the belly right here? We're going to paint that just like that. You know, we'll paint back and forth like that. Just like that. Just going to get that a little more paint on there. See how we're doing that? It gives it a really nice effect. So I want to just do that. Just like that. And now we're going to also paint up around the eye area right here. So let's see, you guys, see how I'm doing that? We're going to paint. You know, and if you get a little bit in the eye, we can always touch it up. Like I just did get a little bit on the eye there, but 
and then we'll you, we'll do the top portion of the where the eye is like that <coughs> now we'll proceed to do the other side right here so I'll paint the top like this right here and then we're going to paint by the eye right here see how we did that and now we're going to proceed to paint the brown body color what we want to do we'll start with the back of the see this go up and down see how I'm doing that up and down back and forth up and down just like that <clears throat> back and forth back and forth up and down just like that and then you're going to also paint up in here, see, so just dab the brush. You know, try to get as close to the other paint as you can. You know, we're getting that there. And, you know, we'll paint the nose area like that, get that. See how we're doing that? and then paint the underside of the jaw let's see see under here and then what we want to do is the the hood right here we want to paint around the area that we had put the tan paint see how i'm doing that and we'll proceed to do the other side see that just like that. <clears throat> and we'll paint like that. And then what we also want to do is we'll paint the rest of the body brown. See how we're doing that? Turning that around. Doing that. Just like that. And you paint both sides. I'll try to flip this around so you can see. See how I'm doing that? Just like that. And you're going to paint the entire length of the body in that manner. I will show you what the finished snake or cobra will look like. We'll put that aside and we'll put that in there. This is what the finished cobra should look like. See how we get the nice pink tongue? You see in the face we got the nice brown through the center there. And then we got the nice tan color around the eyes. We got the nice tan color on the hood right here, like the belly area. And as you can see, we've painted the entire body the brown color, just like this. So this is what the finished Cobra should look like. And I do want to thank you for coming to Creations in Clay. And I do look forward to seeing you again next week. Goodbye for now.